Hey guys, welcome back to Jibber Jab Reviews. Well, today's video is going to be a short one and it's not really a review, but more of a tips and tricks kind of video as it revolves around being able to take screenshots on your Samsung smartwatch. And yes, this does work for the S3, the Galaxy Watch, the Gear Sport, and even the Galaxy Watch Active. Now, I haven't tested this on the S2 as I don't have that watch, so it may or may not work on that device. Now, to take a screenshot, it's really quite easy as all you have to do is to hold down the home button with one finger while you swipe from a left to right motion with another finger. And the swiping can be done diagonally or you can even do it horizontally. It doesn't really matter as long as you're going from a left to right position. And I have tested this functionality on a number of different areas from your watch faces to your settings area and even S Health screens. And yes, it works in all those areas. So you may be wondering, why this would be useful at all. Well, I suppose if you had a watch face that you wanted to show someone what it looked like, you could take a screenshot. Or if you had a lot of detail you wanted to share, like your software version with someone, then instead of writing that down, it's much more convenient just to take a screenshot to send them. Or maybe you're doing a fitness challenge with a friend and you want to brag how well you're doing, then you could also take a screenshot of your results. Whatever the case, it's just a quick little trick I wanted to show you guys. And then once you take the photo, you just need to go into your gallery area on your, on your smartwatch and then you can send it directly to your phone. Now once the photo is sent to your phone, again, it's really easy to access it as you just need to open up your gallery from your phone and then all your screenshots are going to show up there, at which point you can edit them or you can send them to a friend via email, text or messenger. Anyways, it's a cool little function that's already built into your Tizen software and I have tested this both on the pre and the post one UI interface so it does in fact work on both versions. Okay guys, like I said, this was just a quick little trick that may come in handy one day and it's super easy to do. Thanks again for watching, enjoy the rest of your day and I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Thanks again for watching our review and if you liked it then show us some love with a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and share the video with your friends because with your support it really helps me keep the channel going so I can continue to offer you guys discounts, giveaways and of course fresh content. I'll see you in the next episode. Until then, take care.